as well. And here's here's how absurd this has got. I, I, I briefly touched on this earlier today. There's a there's a new from Cali California Catholic Daily. It is very timely to this discussion. And Biden's out there today wearing carbon on his forehead. He had the ash smear on his forehead today, standing next to a bottle. From the California Catholic Daily, a new twist on Lent. California's bishops suggest reduce your carbon footprint for Lent. In its latest Public Policy Insights newsletter, email to subscribers on February 12th, the Catholic Legislative Network is recommending a new way to observe Lent, which begins today. The newsletter is produced by the California Catholic Conference, the lobbying arm of the state's bishops. As the Lenten season arrived, the Catholic Coalition on Climate Change has provided Catholics, schools, and organizations with more tools and resources for its annual Catholic Climate Covenant, says the newsletter. The coalition was formed three and a half years ago to help implement the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops' 2001 initiative, Global Climate Change, a plea for dialogue, prudence, and the common good. Launched last year, the covenant revolves around the St. Francis Pledge, which correlates five key actions, pray, learn, assess, act, and advocate to the issues of the environment and poverty. I mean, holy carp, folks, is nothing sacred? They have infiltrated the Catholic Church? Or maybe the Catholic Church has allowed itself to be infiltrated. According to this newsletter, the Archdiocese of Washington's Environmental Outreach Committee has created a particularly useful new tool, a calendar. And I have a compressed copy of it right there. I'm not going to zoom in here. I haven't got time to do that. That's, that's the calendar. A calendar that lists 40 carbon fasting measures individuals can take to reduce their carbon footprint. The calendar contains suggestions for each of the 40 days of Lent beginning on Ash Wednesday today with remove one light bulb from your home and live without the light for the next 40 days. What a cheap cop-out! Other suggestions include turn down your thermostat by at least one degree, check windows and doors for a drip, this is for Lent. Making travel plans, consider getting there without flying is part of this calendar. Check the tire pressure of your car today. In other words, you can observe Lent according to these guys if you check the tire pressure of your car one day during the 40 days of Lent. Learn about mountaintop removal mining. Show reverence for life and for the earth today by obeying the speed limit. This is not your father's Catholicism, folks. The Bishop's Newsletter cited Daniel Misle, the Executive Director of the Catholic Climate Covenant, as saying the calendar is another way to care for creation and aid the poor. How does this aid the poor? It's challenging, it asks for sacrifices, and to be more mindful of patterns of consumption, it's a new twist on the limp. Oh, man. As I said, holy carp. Okay.